The new audio module in Machina 2.7 introduces quite a few innovations to the platform. Shifting tempo without affecting pitch. Dynamically affecting the pitch of a loop without affecting its tempo. And playing a loop live as if it was an instrument. This opens up a lot of possibilities, like playing a loop polyphonically or adding harmonics to a vocal dynamically. or playing different versions of a sample using the pads while they're looping. This clip will walk you through how to do all these things on the new audio module. So to understand what's so great about it, I'll start with a new project and load in a loop. Let's take this one. Yeah, okay, I'll load it. Now, typically with uh, samples, they would load into the sampler plugin. Here we go. And I'll just make it uh, not polyphonic. And notice as I play it higher, the sample gets faster. So not just pitched up, but also faster. And if I play it lower, it gets really, really slow. Now, if you want this effect, that's great. But if you want to adjust uh, the tempo of, um, of samples to the tempo of your project, you had to do it up until now manually with stretch. You could look at the source BPM, the target BPM. You could adjust the new BPM if you wanted. And the minute you hit uh, apply, it would be readjusted to the new BPM. Let me just play it uh, at the right uh, octave without changing the pitch. So to summarize, the problem with the sampler plugin is that pitch and tempo are intertwined. You can't change one without the other unless you go through the mon manual process of stretching. And if you have a lot of loops in your project, you know, 50 loops, God forbid you want to change the tempo, you've got to restretch everything uh, 50 times if you want the, uh, let's say, tempo to change, but the pitch to stay the same. So this is where the audio module comes in. It's really easy to change a sampler to an audio module, just like that. The tempo of my sample is automatically identified and we'll start with loop mode. There are two modes to the audio module. Loop is the simplest. It just makes loops work seamlessly in your project. Um, you basically start playing, add it to a pattern, and it just works at the tempo of your current project. You get a snapshot of the sample in the display. And if I change the BPM, you can see very nicely how the pitch just isn't affected and it sounds really, really good. And that's the whole idea is that this is completely seamless. So let's load another, uh, another loop and see how the audio module deals with it. Let's look for something with a different uh, tempo. All right, this is 90 BPM, load it, and I will convert it. Uh, it starts as a sampler plugin, so I'll go ahead and change it to an audio module. Now, audio modules work a little bit differently. They don't play when you hit the pads. They only play when the loop is running. So let's hit play. And basically that's it. There's nothing you need to do. You can see it here or on your computer, obviously. Let's stress test this a bit. So super seamless. One loop was 90 BPM, one was 115, and it just works. So that's how you shift tempo without shifting pitch in the new audio module. Now let's check out top feature number two, which is doing it the other way around, shifting um, pitch without changing the tempo. Let me find my uh, guitar loop, that's the one. 
and you can just do this live. I'll go into the audio module. It has a tuning feature. Notice I'm changing the pitch as the loop is playing, the guitar loop, and the tempo of the entire project and the guitar loop remains exactly the same throughout. So this is super simple. Just to uh, let you compare, let me convert the audio module back into the sampler uh, to show you what would have happened had we tried this with a sampler. So I'm changing the pitch of the sample. Hang on, there's too much going on. I'll reduce the polyphony to one. Okay, and as I go up, notice the sample gets shorter or the playback time gets shorter. Let's take it to the extreme. And same as we go down the octaves. Again, this is a nice effect. I'll take it any day. But if you want to keep tempo while changing the pitch, the audio module is the easiest way to do it. All right, I will convert this sampler back into an audio module. It will retain the sample content. And remember, pressing the pads won't work. You need to hit play for the audio module to be heard. Okay. So gate mode on the audio module is the third and I think uh, the most special and unique feature uh, for the audio module, which lets you just play live with the pitch while keeping the tempo. So this is obviously much better than turning the tune knob and opens up a lot of possibilities. But first, let's just stress test this a bit. You can see no matter how high or low we go, the tempo remains the same. Now, I will uh, load up our vocals. Let me just find them. Here we go. Load up. And remember to change the sampler plugin to an audio module. So an important thing I wanted to say about um, gate mode is that what we're doing, or what I'm doing when I'm playing the notes, is not re-triggering the loop. Rather, it's transposing the loop as it goes along. That's an important distinction. And this works with a text strip as well. See, as the singer is singing, the loop is getting uh, transposed, which I think is really neat. One more thing I wanted to show you is that the length of the samples is taken into consideration as you make your um, group longer or shorter. And the shorter samples just uh, get repeated. So this is similar to the arrangement. As I double the length of my pattern, notice how it affects all the samples. So the shorter ones will just get uh, looped around. So let me show you this on the computer. I'll zoom out to see the entire loop. Notice the dimmer spots are where samples are repeated. And of course, same thing on the screen here. Now, I'm not gonna miss, not gonna mess with these, uh, but uh, you can zoom in and out and see the waveforms. The gray uh, track is the one that isn't active currently because it's in gate mode. So there are a lot of things you can do with this. Let me show you a bit. If you duplicate a track, then you can make changes to it and then mess around with the different versions. So for example, uh, let me uh, move this into loop mode so that it will repeat. And I'll copy it twice. Now it's just playing over itself, but if I change the pitch, well, bear with me, it'll be all right, I promise. It's a bit too loud. And we have two additional voices on top of the original one. Now, if I hit record, notice how the notes are overlaid on the screen and are colored when I'm playing something and gray when I'm not. Okay, last bit of monkey business. Let's record some arpeggiated notes. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so that's the audio module in a nutshell. Hit like if you liked it. Click subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks very much for watching.